Yes, students. Today uh, we are discussing topic about uh, cross-cultural issues in ethical. So uh, the biggest question has been related to this. As like, uh, so why cross-culture is getting its prominent role in spite of we are belong to the global citizen? Yes, probably we are seeing ourselves. It's like uh, we are all global citizens and uh, we are maintaining the relationship across the globe. We are trying to cope up with the, all the countries. We are trying to make all the kind of business activities with the different organizations across the globe. Then why exactly cross-cultural topic we need to learn? Yes, the topic importance begins with yes we do have different languages across the world especially maybe india yes 26 different languages where uh, does give different amount of meaning for the same word correct so when it comes to the globe yes of course uh, we are mentioning it here as like a Spain, french english so, how exactly the differences are there for one particular wish they would like to? So, come to the body language. 100% sure body language gives its own different impact into different countries. Their definition, their thought process, their understanding gets different. Probably we are learning the topic of uh, the language where the gesture, one common gesture has its own meaning in different countries. Correct? So the common gesture which is resulting into the meaning of okay, money, zero, rule. Whereas another gesture is giving its own kind of uh, uh, meaning to different countries as like a, a great good job rule number one correct so when we are going to arrive at our own thought process with respect to the cross-cultural issues yes uh, we need to understand the main thing is different countries have got their own hostile culture that hostility need to be understood by everyone of us then only we can able to get a company with our routine very easily. And uh, furthermore, aspects. As it's like uh, uh, the continuation of the cross country issues. Yes, differences of uh, cross culture. Yes, what we are perceiving that may not be same of others. That is the most important aspect. Maybe we can go for narrating a small example here as like one of the elderly person, one who is working in the office in one of the organization. The perception of uh, one of the team, one of the group members, as like a yes, see, elderly person is working in the office. How best the office is. So this contribution will be there in terms of values, knowledge. Whereas uh, when it comes to some other group of members, they may feel as like, see how mercilessly their uh, uh, children are. They are sending this so elderly person to earn money. So when it comes to the viewpoints, yes, each and every individual has got his own perception. So, cross cultural issues. So, where exactly it is involved here? Yes, with reference to the languages, with, with reference to the body language, maybe with reference to the perceptions also. So, what we perceive, what we receive out of any one of the situations could create, give its own impact over every individual. So even 
with reference to the amount of uh, difference of religion. Very sure, very sure. Across the globe, we do have different amount of religions where it is giving its own impact. It is not the religious celebrations. It is the thought process, what and how they receive the aspects and present it. That is most important. Probably with the religion A, you are representing as this like a kind of mentality. Whereas uh, when it comes to some other different culture, religion, probably they would like to have the thought process as such like parental relationship. See, it is a completely different and a hostile thought process. Maybe it may take almost like a decade spread of time to understand the different cultures. Don't worry about uh, understanding and learning others' culture, but try to understand what they are thinking and uh, how do we need to act. That is most important. Try to customize your sensitive thoughts as according to that country. Correct. So when you are operating with one of the countries, you need to understand how their perception of thoughts are there with reference to your body language, with reference to your perceiving aspects. So how they respond. Try to visualize that. So automatically you can come out of these cross-cultural issues. Even the next point is about issues on human rights. Yes, it is one of the uh, one more biggest question. Don't we have right to work? Don't we have the job security? Don't we have the right to ask for the wages? Many of these kind of questions are there. Many of the questions are there. But uh, when it arrives at the conclusion, yes, if your organization is earning profit, then that helps you in survival. Then who is contributing over that profit? Whether management alone can able to work? No, even employees also, no? So we are going to think with the perspective of one individual. So try to visualize all the aspects with the comparison mode of even organizational viewpoint, government viewpoint, and our stakeholders viewpoint is most important in terms of understanding the human rights. Even price discrimination is one more issue. Different currency values and price discrimination. Very much sure when you are transacting about a product in different countries, very clearly you can narrate that price discrimination is quite possible. And that is one of the issues also. Probably here in India, for one liter of uh, that uh, drinking water, we are paying uh, that 20 rupees uh, and uh, some other countries where you are paying maybe around 200 rupees when you are going to convert that Indian currency into their country currency. So price discrimination. So here, most of uh, the Indian states, except uh, or some of uh, the places, probably we are not paying for uh, the drinking water uh, on a regular basis. For annum, we are paying that to our uh, uh, corporations, government body agencies. They are receiving for annum. That may be hardly about uh, some 300, 350. So, but when it comes to your metropolitan cities, yes, of course, the same drinking water where uh, it carries its own different amount of prices. So, where the price discrimination is involved here? 
Is that because of the cost involved? Is that because of the demand? Yes, let us start checking that. And of course, this is one of the issues. Why can't you go for fixing up the same prices into different uh, places for the same product? So, everywhere, when it comes to our personal, we feel as a slight, that is incorrect decision. When we are going to think as like a third party, 100% sure, we are going to arrive at the conclusion on behalf of those agents. That may be a government body also. Correct. So, even about a harmful product, yes. This is uh, simply not to be acceptable at all. Harmful products. Probably, uh, if we are going to label it, tobacco kills, leads to cancer. Many of the technologies we are going to make use. But uh, in spite of that also, yes, we are ready to sell it off the market. Is that because of the taxation benefit? Is that because of the revenue to the government? Yes, we need to think a lot. Correct. So, even when we are trying to create some of the uh, product, yes, if the uh, low quality of product also sometimes may be harmful to the public. So, issues are involved here. Where we are considering that is harmful, but in the same moment of time, some other countries where the same product is acceptable. They are ready to consume. So how all these things are getting changed from one geographical space to another? That gives its own different meaning. That is the reason cross considerations are being raised in the market. Right? So the last point we are discussing. Our topic is about the pollution and natural environment. Yes. So today, the biggest question is much like for pollution. Many of the measures have been taken against that pollution. But after the industrial revolution, till today, whatever the measures we are taking, want to go towards the global environment through pollution that is at the same pace of increasing is acting as like an issue now and seriously every country they are concerned on this issue a lot because now we are finding out due to the global warming where the climatic conditions are getting changed So ultimately that may go for resulting into that bad is going to become worse in the future. Correct. So precautionary measures need to be taken now. That's the reason many of the countries they are looking forward into different amount of measures where still we need to showcase in terms of sorting out these issues. But of course this is one of the biggest sensitive issues. And uh, probably we need to address these issues collectively from the organizations because our clients are so environmental conscious nowadays. As it's like they are looking forward into the better products where which is not harmful to their environment. So it is so important to have a consciousness. Right. So with this note. Uh, we are completing cross-cultural issues. Right, sir. Thanks to everyone.